let, let everyone know what you're talking about, as if they don't know what this even is. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is the current GUI. Some things will be removed for the beta version. Mm -hmm. So for the beta version, we'll only have recent models, which will basically store the models that you've opened. Mm -hmm. I will add the search bar, since it's already there. So you'll type a search, at least it'll zoom in on the models, specific models. Yeah. So that needs to be implemented. But I've got a lot of work with the connection to the printer. Mm -hmm. Can you show the model, uh, the online library, just so people get a sense for what that'll look like? Um, probably, you know. Be yeah, like yeah, there this. you go. You know, it'll actually be able to go out and, you know. Can you show them the interface before the, the background stuff? Which, which interface? Uh, when you drag stuff and you can resize that sort of thing. Oh, sure. Um, you can add, like, the dinosaur there. And it's a little too big now, so we can uh, shrink it. Oh, cool. And those uh, little red you know, squares, it just shows that it's out of bounds. So you can sh rotate it as well. Awesome. And scale. So you can do it by mouse, by scroll, uh, scale, scale bar, or bars. by actual number. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are the axes coupled right now, or can you actually scale individual axes differently? Right now, you can only do individual. Mm -hmm. But later, I like to you know, lock them together. So give the user at least an option if they want to do them all. It looks like it was locked when you dragged it with the mouse. If you do mouse, it's... it's oh, okay, so they already have some sort of option. That's, that's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but I've been putting in a lot of uh, notifications. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you connect the printer, you know, you get some notifications. Awesome. Right now, it's just detecting the printer. It's got to figure out exactly what kind of printer it is. And then once it figures out the printer type, you know... The yeah, printer's ready. ready. If you go to print, yeah, you know that this is the current firmware that's being it's using right now. So you go here, it'll slice it. And continue to send it to the printer. Mm -hmm. Actually, it sends a message to that other program that actually is connected to the printer, and then that program, you know, just warns you to make sure that the bed is clear. Make sure you removed your last print. Yeah. Because we have no way of knowing. Uh, and this is good because this allows you to spool your print job. You, you mm -hmm. can queue print jobs. So you could actually potentially have multiple jobs ready to print. But you just have to okay it so it doesn't like yeah. print over itself. Yeah, exactly. So every time it's about to start a new print, they will ask you about it. Well, I gotta say, for a beta version one, it looks pretty far along. Yeah, it's getting there. And these are real things. These aren't mock-ups like mm -hmm. it was months ago. Mm -hmm. This is the real deal. Yeah, this is actually, and you click OK. Mm -hmm. and wait for the job to start. And there, it started. So it is actually now sending G code. G code with the OKs. Mm -hmm. It's OKing back and forth, and it's standard native G code right now. Yeah. So we're awesome. planning the next prop, the next thing that we're going to really implement is we're going to have some type of progress indicator to show mm -hmm. that you know the progress it's making on that current thing. So, but for the beta version, we're about about there. Yeah. Do you have any of those pause, like remove filament, any of those kinds of features set up yet? Not yet. That's mm -hmm. probably because next week I'll start working on uh, fixing up the firmware, mm -hmm. and then during that time I'm going to add. You know, we'll have a settings menu. Yeah, and yeah. In this Still menu, in progress. We'll have all that stuff. Okay. So by the time people get their printers, they might have those pretty yeah. full options. Mm -hmm. Awesome job. Yeah. So probably what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take a screenshot mm -hmm. of the, the model, put the screenshot there, and then as it prints, basically show more. Like the part that hasn't been printed out, printed mm -hmm. yet, will be darkened. Mm -hmm. And as it prints up, it will lighten it up. So, so it'll look awesome in other words. Progress, yeah. right? So I'll, I'm thinking of putting it there. Yeah. It's like an indicator bar that's intuitive. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So the first version will just be percent, mm -hmm. but later it will actually be matched to the layer. So it actually go up based on the layer that's on. But the first About the version same, is same, yeah. yeah. Can you show us a couple more like item drags and drops? I know they're not perfect, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Um... And those icons aren't showing because they just aren't queued yet. Yeah, yeah, I don't have an image, that's all. 
Yeah, I mean, we're going to go in and generate images from the 3D at some point. Mm -hmm. So this one is kind of in the background, so I should rotate it. So that right, right. The model doesn't come on right. And, then, and eventually we'll have an auto feature in there that says just auto level, auto, mm -hmm. auto um, position, auto size, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. The center model button actually work? Uh, not yet. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of stuff done, a couple things left to go. Mm -hmm. Great progress. But for the most part, externally, most of this is done now. There's just a few more little minor tweaks that we need. Mm -hmm. And other than that, it's just uh, working specific on printer things. Yeah, so yeah, my goal is to, to try to finish this mm -hmm. and go on other things. It's a great so interface, yeah. Better. Yeah, it's getting much better. Cool, and we've got the... Um, the Max and Linux tested briefly. That will, everything looks on target for those working perfectly as well. Yeah, well, I mm -hmm. put it on uh, Linux, mm -hmm. and I we run it on Linux. Mm -hmm. There's some little things that I need to check out. Yeah, but this software, it runs. Yeah, but I have to try it out on Mac and different things. But uh, but the beta version, it's 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 getting there. Good. Nice we'll job. be ready. Yeah, it'll be much better a couple months later when we get to like really start sh shipping it out to everyone. Yeah. It's gonna have a ton of features. That's why it's beta. Yeah. <laughs> You're super early. Yeah, but later we're gonna have a lot of features we're gonna add on this thing. So cool. But it's good enough.